Hello and welcome back to your own channel, Indian Defence Analysis, where we bring to you the latest development happening in the defence sector. The FNSAS program or Future Infantry Soldier as a system is aimed to transform the Indian soldiers deployed in the border areas into a self-contained fighting machine. It has been envisaged for a fully networked all-terrain, all-weather personal equipment platform with better firepower and mobility for the digitized battleground. The Defence Minister, Rajnath Singh, on 16th August handed over the much-awaited indigenously manufactured FNSAS to the Indian Army. In today's video, we will discuss in detail about the FNSAS program and its component. We will also try to understand its future upgrade and how capable is the present system. So, let's get started. If we look closely into all the components of FNSAS, it can be broadly classified into three subsystems, firepower, protection and communication. Talking about the firepower, FNSAS soldiers will be equipped with the modern state-of-art assault rifle along with day and night holographic and reflex sights. The assault rifle is AK-203, which is the latest and most advanced version of the legendary AK-47 rifle, the most abundant firearm the world has ever known. AK-203 will be primary replacement to INSAS, Indian Small Arm System and SIG Sauer 716 have been deployed on Indochina border as long-range rifles. The assault rifle has a range of 300 km. It can fire 600 rounds in 1 minute or 10 rounds per second. As a part of FNSAS program, the soldiers will get AK, to 03 with sights mounted on the weapon and also on helmet to enable a 360 degree visibility and accuracy in operational conditions. The sight attached is Gol holographic sight which has been quite extensively used by Indian armed forces and battle proven. Helmeted mounted night vision has also been provided to increase combat capability of soldiers in night. In addition to the primary weapon system, the soldiers will also be kitted with multi-mode hand grenade which has also been procured indigenously along with multipurpose knife. Talking about the protection, a decent work has been done here. We can observe four components as a part of protection which is ballistic helmet, ballistic goggles, bullet proof jacket, elbow and knee pads. The ballistic helmet and bullet proof jacket has been designed to provide protection against 9mm and AK-47 rounds. The third subsystem consists of communication and surveillance system. The soldiers will be equipped with hands-free commander headset. This FNSAS system is capable of further upgradation by incorporating real-time data connectivity. Indian Army is already in process of acquiring software-defined radios which also greatly improve the communication of soldiers once inducted. The advanced communication system and gadgets which was part of battle management system is still missing and could be planned for the next phase. Overall, the present FNSAS is a must-to-have starter and much overdue system which every soldier deployed at the border must have. It's good to see the FNSAS back in action which seems to have lost somewhere over the years. However, this is not a cutting-edge technology, but necessity of our soldiers given the kind of hostile environment where they operate. This seems to be the beginning of program which could have started a decade back. Further, the AK-203 which is the assault rifle of the program is yet to be indigenously manufactured. Thanks for watching the video and supporting us. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.